What's up guys? So we got my dad's 2018 Silverado in the back in the shop. As you can see here, we got some new leather seat covers from leatherseats.com. It's the same company that I got my covers for my 04. I'll show you that in a little bit, but as you know, my dad's truck is a work truck, so it came with cloth seats. So I had to go with the same company that I did my other truck. It turned out really nice, so I'll show you that now. All right, here's my 04. If you've seen my videos, you know that these seat covers came from leathersheets.com as well. So I looked it up. I bought these in January of 2015, so that's almost five years ago. They still look really nice. Obviously, the driver's seat, you can tell, it's been sat in. But I'll show you the passenger seat in a little bit. Still looks really, really nice. Go over to the passenger side. As you can see, looks almost brand new still. Has been sat in, but just not as much as the driver's seat. Looks really nice. Just thought I'd mention that. I was opening up the box here. Get the covers out. All right, there's all the pieces. Got the two bucket seats and the middle console flip up lid. And this one does not have under seat storage. So we got the seats out of the truck already. Let's go over here and look at the seats now. All right, so this is the driver's seat. This is the color that we went with. Light gray from leather seats. So since we got some samples from them and picked this one, this is the one they recommend also. So light gray. As you can see, it just may be a hair darker, but it matches the plastics really well. And if anything, my dad wanted a little darker anyway, didn't want it too light. Got a little lighter contrast stitching as well. So start taking the old covers off now, get the new ones on. Start taking off the old covers now. We don't know how to do everything exactly yet, so this is not going to be a complete how-to video of how to do it, but I'll start with the headrest. They know how to do that little hole here poke in there and that pops right off. So we'll look underneath it in a little bit but there's also zippers on the back here. These are all held on with these little clips that just snap onto stuff like that so pop a lot of these off. I got all the old cloth off of the driver's seat. These little clips are a pain to get off, but use a little screwdriver, they pop off. I had to take off this thing on this side to get at the clip to hold this bottom cover on, but other than that, it was fairly easy. Just had to figure out how to get all the little clips off, little tricks to them. So, start putting the new leather on now.
All right, we got the driver's seat all done. As you can tell, we're not professionals, so if we had like a steam gun of some sort, could get this all really nice and tight. The bottom is actually really nice. Hardly any wrinkles at all. It's a little loose around here, but when you leave it out in the sun on a hot day, I think it should tighten up a little bit. So over time, it'll look better, but not bad. So we'll get the other one done. Come back when done with that. All right, it's been a few more hours. Got all the covers on. The two bottoms turned out really nice, nice and tight. Like I said, we're not professionals, so we don't have like a steam gun or anything. Tighten those up a little more, but standing out in the sun on a hot day should tighten up a little bit more. So got the console all done. Top of the lid turned out really nice. Nice and tight because we could pull it around and staple it on there, but throw them back in the truck now. Also took the time to clean up the carpet, obviously, when the seats are out. But if you haven't seen these seats before, the front just kind of slides into these two little grooves. And a couple bolts on the back. That's how all the seats are held in, so nice and clean in here, ready to go. Seat belts are also tied to the side of the seat and then to the side of the pillar here. So we did have to unbolt them from the seat, but bolt them back on, get the seats back in. Alright, it's the next day. It took me and my dad pretty much all day yesterday working on it together. So that's taking the old seats out, putting all the new covers on, and getting the seats and everything back in. So turned out pretty nice. I'll, I'll put in the before clips right now, see what the truck looks like before the cloth seats, and then we'll see what the new leather looks like. So like I said before, this is a couple amateurs doing this install, so the bottoms turned out really nice, nice and tight. The backs are a little bit more loose, but I'm sure that would look pretty much perfect if a professional is doing this, that a steam gun or whatever. So really happy with it for a couple amateurs doing it, like I said, but this top lid turned out really nice. And if you guys can smell what it smells like in here now, it smells amazing with the new leather. And also, like I said, this is light gray from leatherseats.com. And then with the lighter contrast stitching, really gives it a high-end look. All right, there you go. There's the cloth to leather upholstery swap done in a work truck Silverado. Thanks for watching. All right, I just want to put this in at the end. Sorry I don't have a fancy screen recording device or whatever, but I just want to show you their website, leatherseats.com. So the most commonly asked question I get on my 04 is where do you get those seats or where are those seats from? So obviously there's stock seats, leatherseats.com covers, completely replaces the upholstery. So we'll just go through and show you what it's like to build a kit for in my 04 Silverado. So Chevrolet Silverado 2004, build your own interior kit. They have some pre-selected packages or just go over here and build your own kit. So as an example for my truck, body style, regular cab, current upholstery, came with factory cloth, one seat row, front seats, low back, 40-20-40 bench with one piece console or two piece console or two armrests. 
So my truck originally is a work truck, so it had the non-folding center console. So that would be the one-piece console. But if you had the middle seat that had a flip-up lid where you could store stuff in it, that would be the two-piece console. So we're going to go with one-piece console. Obviously, no back seats. Continue. So what I did is the premium leather trim kit, which is leather on all the black surfaces here. So the seating surfaces and then vinyl on the sides. That's what it come from the factory. So you can get 100% vinyl, which is a little cheaper, or 100% leather, which is more expensive. So we're going to stick with this one. I went with one color. And here's where we've picked the colors. They recommend charcoal, like I said. And I went just one shade darker. And I'm, I'm sorry I can't remember exactly which color I went with. It had to be either one of these two. So they recommend charcoal, so I'll just go with that. Standard leather. Perforated leather, I did not do perforated leather. And I did contrast double stitching and then I changed that color. I just picked one of these little lighter colors. I think I went with smoke, but not sure exactly. Any of these lighter grays would look really nice, I'm sure. A little bit of contrast. So we'll just go with ice gray. And that's all there is to that. Pretty easy to do it. Just have to know which options to pick. So this came out to 669, so but these are really fairly priced for what they are. Really nice high quality leather kit. So that's all there is to building a kit like that. Just want to put that in the video at the end. Thanks for watching.